That's cool. Where yeah. you at? I've been waiting to. I've been waiting for somebody to go live with me. Really? You should just DM somebody. People are usually pretty cool about that. Yeah, I've DM'd quite a few people, and there's quite a lot of them that don't that don't that don't do this. That don't do this. Huh. All of them don't do this. They don't. I hear do that. that. Well, I, yeah. And it kind of sucks. You. I'm listening. To... <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Well, I'll send a couple people your way that like to come on and uh, jump on live and fuck around and shit. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell them to. I'll tell them to hit you up. Yeah. So what are you doing in your room, man? Just fucking chilling or what? Yeah. Hmm. Sounds like I, fun. I actually um, last night I uh, I created my first uh, my first twenty four cartoon strip. Oh sweet! Um, yeah, uh, you've heard of that. You heard of that show, right? I have. Let me look at your profile while we're talking. One sec, man. You're not related I'm... to John Cusack, are you? No, I'm not related. No, I wish. <laughs> All right. I was well, related to a movie better. star. We could be be a movie star, man. Anybody can. Hold on. Um. So what do you? I guess I'm what they call a upcoming artist, I guess. Not a music artist, but <laughs> What's up? Oh. Ah, shit. Huh? Hey, what happened, bro? What happened, bro? What happened, bro? You cut out. You're not there anymore? Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown style of, of cartooning, and I do all this different type of, I'm trying to do all this different type of uh, style of art, and I've always loved, uh, I lo I've always loved Charles Schultz art. I love cartoons, so, so yeah, yeah you know. this, uh, this was, this is actually my favorite scene in season six. When Jack tortures his brother. There it is. Okay. That's cool. You know, um, I'm actually, I grew up in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And that's where Schwartz is from. And there's a hundred Snoopies out there. And they're fucking badass throughout the Twin Cities. Oh, you that's gotta good. You gotta go and find them. Yeah, well, that's where he's from, man. So it's kind of like a big thing for them. A lot of other people from wow. now, like George, George Floyd and shit like that. But some people still pay, pay attention to Schwartz. I like that, man. I've always respected him. No, oh, yeah, me too. A lot Absolutely. of times, I, uh, I, I look up like different styles. I'm trying to create my own type of style. Um, I don't know if you've seen my profile. I have a lot of, I have a lot of different, different, um, different works that I've created. Um, 
I did a lot of, uh, I did, uh, I'm doing a few abstract, abstract doodles in my, uh, in my sketchbook. Okay. Yeah, no, that's cool, man. That's nice work. Uh, is that the strip that you're working on right now that you're telling me about, or is this a different strip? Yeah. Yeah, this huh. one here is just, um, I'm just doing all this stuff off the top of my head. Uh, but, um, yeah. Uh, so do you I do have, all this shit in your room or like what? Like, are you like, you have yes, a job? I, I, I do all this stuff in my room. Huh. Cool. So do you have a job? Because I'm going to call that Cusack's room from now on. I'm weird like that. I come up with these little nicknames. Um, I'm just curious because I got this guy that I'm going to have DM you and I wanted to talk to you because I like the shit you do. Um, Thanks. Have you, had a, have you had any training at all or are you just good like that? Uh, I'm self-trained. Um, okay. Uh, well, the thing is, is I'm, I'm sort of, I'm handicapped, I'm handicapped, so, um, I have, I have autism. Yeah, I mean, I kind of knew you are on the spectrum, man, you know, I mean, that's, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, you know, you're telling me about the live stream thing, and I don't live stream with everybody, but, you know, I like your shit, dude, and you're a good guy, and I like talking Thanks. to you. Thanks. Thanks. So that's good. And, you know, being on the spectrum, I think, makes things a little different for you. And that I appreciate yeah. because I like the, you know, the color aspects and quite a bit. Um, so that's cool. So, you know, how far, uh, you know, how much of a, it, obviously, you're very functioning. I can tell I'm dealing with you right now and you're able to, you know, live stream and connect with me. Um, but how much yeah. does it impact your life? Are you pretty much just kind of stuck in the room? Do you live with your mom or what's the situation? Well, I was living with living with my parents. Okay. Until, uh, that's okay, man. There's nothing wrong with that, dude. Sometimes that that works out best. But now I'm, but now I'm choosing to live with my aunt. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, sometimes you got to get a little space too. I mean, it's probably different than it was over at your parents, but you yeah, know, that no. can be a good thing, especially for you. Like, you know, you told me right away you're trying to define your style and you know, and kind of be different yeah. than everyone else. And I think, you know, I can tell you looking at your, looking at your work, I can tell you right now that you are different already. So you don't necessarily need to define your style. I think you have that because you're self taught, yeah. you know, right. So you already got that, bro. What it is, is trying to differentiate your stuff from other people's stuff. So that's where you have to make sure that other people see it and get the message. But I get this guy that yeah. I'm gonna sync, have sync up with you, man. And he's pretty good at this shit and he does it for a lot of people. And, you know, I've helped him out on some stuff and he'll help people out that, that have some potential. So he might be able to open some doors for you. Not that you're trying to jump into big meetings and stuff, but, you know, maybe he can help you submit some yeah. of your stuff or work. He can give you some side projects to work on that you enjoy. Oh, okay. Uh, 